I just wanted to continue talking about my thoughts since I've tried moving away from a misanthropic type of mindset. Dave Chappelle's The Closer was just what I needed to see at the time. Things just kind of work that way sometimes, you know? If I'm supposedly on the side that doesn't hate people, then why am I encouraged to hate so many people? What group am I supposed to hate and protest against next? What company am I supposed to hate for being Christian? Why am I constantly being encouraged to be offended at more and more things? Why am I encouraged to look at Republicans and Trump supporters and religious people as evil? I mean, yeah, they hold positions I hate, but I'm sure that my positions are things that they hate as well. But, I mean, is it me or is it the positions, right? You know, and what is the ratio between, you know, the people that hate the right wing's positions and hate the people who hold those positions to the other way around? What's the ratio, Horatio? Why am I encouraged to be such a miserable, sad sack? Because that's what all this crap does to me. It makes me miserable. Being offended at everything is not a way to live your life, and I want no part of it anymore. I mean, that's easier said than done, but... I mean, sure, there are some valid and rational things to be offended about, and I'd like to leave my outrage and offense to those types of things. You know, not this stuff of, oh, someone said something traditional. Someone encouraged a religious value. Someone made a joke. A parent wants to know what's being taught in their schools. Terrorists, terrorists, they're terrorists. No, 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 they're not. They're just wanting to be involved in their children's education. When I look at how freedom of speech is dwindling across the globe in, in Western industrialized countries, including Canada, I find myself being quite ecstatic about living in this country. The more I read about what's going on in the rest of the world, the prouder I am for living in this country. I, maybe I shouldn't say proud, maybe I should just say I'm very happy and I feel very fortunate. We have the First Amendment, and it would take something quite extraordinary to nullify it, which is simply not going to happen. I must admit to being quite curious about Trump's upcoming or supposedly upcoming social media site called Truth Social. He's apparently putting a lot of money and effort into this, working with a number of companies, uh, setting up all the servers, trying to get it, get it ready. How hateful of users will gravitate to it? What are you not going to be allowed to say on it? What will mainstream media say about it? And how long will it be before it's designated as a hate site by the ADL? Only time will tell. Have a joy-joy day!